What's going on, everybody? Time another YouTube recap. A little bit low energy today, so excuse me if I'm a little slow. Cancer treatments are harsh. So let's hop right into it uh, on the X per the huge. So uh, this morning and uh, last night. So last night, um, boom, big old dump. You know, I'm seeing the AM. Now remember, guys, we just covered this exact play over two weeks ago. Any large, huge gap down is 100% to the downside. And uh, we seen a very similar gap last night uh, in the group. So I told everybody on the futes, take that into consideration for the downside overnight. And it put in a thousand points to the downside on the NQ. We did that literally right at the market open yesterday, Sunday, generally just after 5 p.m. Central. I get on and check that out. And we made that call at about 535, 538 p.m. And I said it was going to go down and did, damn, did she go down? Um, so for the regular day trade today, just a little freebie, I was working off the 15 minute chart and I set a, a, a target long scalp here and we built a base finally of support in the pre-market. I got a low of pre-market anchor riding up. I got a high of pre-market riding down and generally we'll stay within these statistics for anchor view apps throughout the day. And there's generally a pretty solid move on those. Now, that was about the only call of freebie I gave out today. So let's get into how the rest of the day played out. So as far as cues is concerned, we had that 15 minute high low pick and we had a rolling anchor support, right? So the last day highs here, a lot of the time, uh, we'll end up seeing anchors from prior days, from multiple trade days, act as rolling resistance and rolling support. So if we're in a downtrend, like we've been calling day after day after day, we see this as a rolling downtrend. So when price action comes back up and meets a anchor view app that is forever calculating to catch up to price action, it's generally a really good target long, target short, especially the layover. A couple different colors there for different time frames that I'm using, but uh, that is the gist of. So we had a massive gap down. So we have to look long. We had a thousand freaking points to the downside on NQ. And uh, I would go over there and go over a bunch of stuff, but thicker swim just will not load. So we're kind of stuck here on trading view for now and hopefully they fix that up. So um, we played actually SPY today. Um, so I'll go actually into the day trade here first with SPY. All right, same thesis, uh, same rolling support, everything's the same. So I put that call out there right here on this uh, first bigger 15 minute red candle. So I posted here on X uh, right here. And this guy, we said it would be long to come back up to the top down anchor at the open. So we wanted to stay anything higher low from this little cluster of support in pre-market um, and this anchor top, I'm sorry, bottom up. So this was rolling up as support. Obviously this was gonna become our target one because of the anchor view app. So this is literally just a pre-market high and that is it. So we developed a support right here and I'll tell you why we, or I'll tell you, we'll show you both. As we came up to here, now we switched to ES because the volatility index is extremely high, the VIX. The VIX is super high. When the VIX is high, the price action moves exponential, right? So we switched over to ES because I don't like to put any extra risk on trading the NQs where some of these five minute candles are 120 points, right? Uh, so even with this red candle here calling the long up to there, uh, up to the anchor down, we were looking at almost 40 points on the ES and that's pretty much what we did uh, from the dip buy. So we had a couple different scalps there on the anchor view app and that's what it looks like on the 15. So because we had no tags in pre-market, I expected that this top-down anchor VWAP would come into play as a retrace and back test. And if we broke through that, which exactly what we said it would, it would most likely run back up for a while, break through that and come back down to the bottom up anchor from pre, right? So you'd run a couple different anchor view apps like this. You would wait for that first initial. That's a great scalp. Did you look for the consolidation, which we had called? And then we also called a 200 SMA play which is another 40 points for the market open. So the five minute chart here, and I don't have think or swim and I don't really use um, this for anything but anchor view apps. So we could put on a, a simple moving average here and just edit it real fast. But um, yeah, we had a 200 day moving average on the five minute chart, simple. And uh, this is what we wanted to see on the five minute chart. Now I don't use trade view for this because Generally speaking, like so, their uh, indicators are extremely far off compared to thinkorswim. So I guess we'll just have to leave that. You're just going to have to take my word for it. So um, this little top pop right here came into that 200. We had this initial pop, 
played the anchors. It broke out of the top anchor, came down, held top anchor, flushed up again, almost hit our blue anchor from a couple days prior back, and then walked itself down in a nice three down to the lower anchor, right? And um, this was a really clean move here, even on the five minute chart uh, for momentum to that 200 SMA. So that 200 SMA was coming in kind of like this this morning on the five minute price action came up at open hit the 100 ema came back down for a consolidation period right here on the top view app pushed right here into that 200 sma and that was our final target is 40 some points now we only needed a couple day trade scalps i think i did four round trips for a massive twelve thousand dollar win and that was literally because of that overnight right so again, we could uh, chalk up here on the futures. We can touch on this real fast, but this gap right here was the big deciding factor on why I called that there would be a huge dump. If you look back, we obviously just suffered one of these large gap downs, the catalyst. And uh, being a Monday start, so we actually got a weekly gap now to worry about as well. That was the predominantly the best part. And uh, I called this in the Discord as well. I said we were coming into a double bottom uh, for the day. Let's buy up everything uh, at the 17,005 level. And that was it. We literally just went long off the double bottom. I'll show you what the high-low fib range uh, looks like here because we did a high-low right here. And then you can see that we're most likely going to get some further retrace here after, after hours, right? So in the law of Fibonacci, when we have a high point right here and a low point right here we generally come and we need to fill up both sides of the data we didn't fill it up on this low it left like a couple pennies right there so we will end up coming down to reach the bottom of this fib at some point but uh, this morning didn't really matter right we came into the double bottom and then we used the golden pocket top to to run it back up so the law always states if we are in a double bottom support area and it's breaking back up this golden pocket zone which is our gp which we call it the golden pocket it's a uh, 0618 uh, 20382 and then of course the uh, 50 in between that's the pocket that I like to pay attention to in between the 100 and the zero the Fibonacci so from this double bottom ugh, generally we come from the double bottom and push back up to the 100 and then we break out of that and range to the 1618 we obviously did not get there but we are on the way price action from the double bottom long had a, just a couple targets back to the golden pocket target one and then back to the top of the fib range target two once it broke back out of here, we need confirmation to adjust to the rest of the trade. So the confirmation is, well, we need to hold and consolidate and move higher to the 1618 target. And you notice that is right where that gap is from today. So if this gap down is the one that will fill a little quicker than the last one, bets are that we'll go up to 18,400 if we maintain above 18,000. So we can come back down to the zero line. And as long as we hold this top Fibonacci as support, we should move up to 18,400. If we do not, we will be under the 18,000 and we will continue to come back down 600 points. Now, I think we're going to continue the bounce here for a little bit because from the highs, I was expecting um, uh, the SPY uh, and predicting if you've been here for quite some time or watching any of the videos in the last month, um, maybe a few weeks here actually, but uh, we were calling for 8 to 15% from the highs. So the open today uh, from here, it did net us finally 10.5%. So I was looking for usually 8 to 12, 8 to 15%. And then I generally start to go long and start buying stuff up, right? And uh, SPY shied the gap here. Now we have a um, triple gap, right? The, the initial gap from the gap and go to the trend change. So something that had gapped, changed trend and continued down. Secondary gap that was filled and number two and three are still open down here. So this is the only one that is filled. So what is for next? Well, because of this high parabolic move down, I just suspect that this gap right here, as long as we hold the Fibonacci of this last gap down candle, this is how I would play it for the prediction. I'd come here and I would use the high low range because this is a monster. So you could use the body or the high low range. You could draw it either way. I'll give you both examples here. You could use the body right here for your daily, come back into your intraday chart. We'll use the 15 minute here real fast. And as we have now the body of today's candle marked off here, well, we tried. All right, I'm going to go back. We got the lock at here. All righty. So 15-minute chart intraday after the body is continued. Again, you could just use the high-low if you wanted to. Both are going to work. It's not if, but when the Fibonacci works. So here's our Fib box. This is the box, high-low for the uh, range. Now we're going to worry about today's, or tomorrow rather, not today's trade day. So if we maintain above 517.38, Right? We have an opportunity to hold that and then kind of continue back up higher to chase down maybe the green anchor view app and of course the gap that we now deal with on the daily. 
uh, if we go back under that and continue low, well, then we're going to chase the gap that we had just seen on the bottom, right? So we have a giant green gap there on the daily chart that we had gapped down into, and it's very close down here in the low 500s, 506 or so, and then we can um, articulate that. And of course, the next Fibonacci range that you would use, it'll look similar, but it's just going to be the high low range. And of course, both of these will work. It's just, I want to use a very high range candle like that. I would use the body myself just because of the intense range in the high volatility index. Um, so right now, looks, it's going to look a little cleaner because we got the high and low of the day, and that's all you fib out, right? So it came back down, boom, hold the golden pocket. So same scenario happens here, except we're not using the 100 fib like the body. We are using the golden pocket. So anything above the GP right here into that 5, 16, 17, 18, it would be a hold. And we would look for a long to the 100 and then a break back up to fill that gap. And notice where the 1618 extension is for the high low of today's Fibonacci. It is at the top of the gap. So we could move to 532 on the way back up if we continue. So that would be what I would look for. And this is the exact fib I'll be playing for tomorrow um, off the high low and potentially the body. We'll see what the overnight does. But uh, those anchor view apps are going to be helpful catching up to this green guy here from two day ago back. Um, that could definitely be a temporary long term target. So uh, again, if we hold above the golden pocket right here, we have an opportunity to hold that GP and move up again to the double top, which is yesterday's highs, break over that double top and then hopefully range into uh, the gap and potentially fill. And that's going to give us again the one six one eight. So that's for tomorrow's prediction. And let's see if we can do it just off Anchor View Apps and Fibonacci. <laughs> if you guys find any value in these videos, you want to trade with us live as we narrate this stuff every morning, follow me over on X, hit up the description to join us in chat. We have Apex prop trading codes. We have top step trap trading codes. And we do this stuff live and narrate it with me and my partner every day. So if you want to come join us, awesome. If not, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.